Hey guys, um, this is Alan from Let's Say Financial. How are you today? So, well, um, on Saturday, um, that was the news in America that Biden has been elected as the 46th um, president in the United States. And then, uh, well, I took a look at the market this morning, and then uh, uh, it seems like the market doesn't have a really big movement, but then the, the trend is really gradual, and then um, it's developing to, to, to a particular direction, and then um, Everything looks fine, and um, that looks fine for us to trade in either forex and buy an option as well. So um, in today's video, I just want to show you um, how you can actually use your daily strategy to trade the um, the the U.S. presidential election, and especially in these few days, I, I I'm pretty sure there will be a trend in the market in in all the different currency pairs. So well, um, just take a look at today's video and uh, find out how you can trade with the um. US presidential election. So um, first let me set up the indicators and I will explain it to you how I trade with these indicators. Okay, so well go to technical indicator. Alright, yep, just technical indicator. Just click on it and I will select the simple moving average. Put a tick on simple moving average and then we will open the drop down for simple moving average. Yep, alright, then we select all the SMAs. And then we'll go to um, parameter. Okay, so now click on parameter. So the parameter we're using today is um, 7, 13, and 100. So again, SMA1 is 7, SMA2 is 13, and SMA3 is 100. So after we get that down, we can move on to the parameter. Okay, put a tick on pra uh, oh, sorry, the public. And then we'll open the drop down for public as well. Okay, so well for step is 0 0.05 and then for max is 0 0.1. So again, 0 0.05 and 0 0.1. So then now we have the indicators down and then we can close the window. And then the last thing I will need to make sure is the um the chart period and option period. So for today, the chart period I'm gonna use is gonna be a one minute chart period, and the option period is gonna be a three minute option period so well um this all set and then um now i will explain it to you how i trade with these indicators so now we see that um just take a look at the yellow simple moving average there so now it's obviously is on top of the candlestick and uh, if we take a look at the candlestick the candlestick is heading downward as well which matches with the the direction of the yellow simple moving average and then now we can confirm that it's in a downtrend and then during a downtrend, we just need to wait until the parabolic to change from blue to red, and that is a bearish um, bearish indication. And after we get that from parabolic, and we move to the blue and red simple moving average. So now, uh, well, um, it seems like the parabolic is changing to red soon. So, uh, yep, there we go. It changed to red, and then the the last thing we need to make sure the last thing we need to make uh, wait for is just for the two simple moving average to cross over which I need the blue lines to be below the red line after the crossover and then when they cross over that's the moment when I want to place my trade and now there we go um, that the crossover the blue line is now under the red line and then that's why I opened that trade so again during a um, downtrend you should always only look for purchase timing to go for low so um, that's the same if it, if it is in the uptrend so if the, if the market is in the uptrend you should always go for timing to go for high so well um, now let's talk about the market a little bit so now you see that the market well it's not a US pair market but then um, as I mentioned previously the result of the US presidential election is going to affect all pairs so now we see we are looking at euro and British, British pound here and then that is a really stable downtrend even though we are looking at a short term time frame there's a one minute, uh, one minute chart and then that um, the, the movement is not too volatile it's not too violent but then it's still, it's still good enough for us to trade with there's still enough movement for us to profit so well um that's a really good movement so um i'm guessing after the election um we we are still able to trade short term and um you can try with the um trend following strategy you have and then i'm guessing um that is actually a really good timing for us to to trade and um the price is really stable in a downtrend here 
So, okay, so well, I um, still have a lot of time here. So um, I will just fast forward a bit and then I will jump straight to the end. So now well, we see that the price is actually really close and it's actually against my um, my entry price but now it's heading down and yup. Well that was really close and it just drops down right uh, uh, right before the, the option expired. So well that was lucky but uh, well, let's just um, try to look for a few other currency pairs here and then um, just try to explain it to you more on this strategy and more on the US presidential election okay so well um okay so well now it's the opposite it's just now this is a uptrend so by looking at the yellow simple moving average it's setting upward and it's below the candlestick and then if we look at the candlestick it's um it's heading upward and the overall direction is upward, so the candlestick movement matches with the direction of the simple, uh, yellow simple moving average. And now we say that it's in the uptrend. So let me place a trade first. Okay, so well, um, I placed it a high just now. So you see, in uptrend, I need to wait for the purple bullet to change from red to blue, and then I need the two um uh, simple moving average to cross over. I need the blue ones to be above the red one after the crossover. And then that's why I opened it a high deck. So as I mentioned during a down, during an uptrend, only look for timing to go for high, and that is gonna increase our winning ratio. Okay, so well, um, again, now you see this. Well, um, we are looking at um British pound, British pound and Japanese yen here. The movement is a little bit far volatile than the the one that we are looking just now, but then still okay. Uh, we we. The, the, the market is still looking tradable and then um, it, I'm just what I suggest to you is that after the US um, presidential election a lot of market have formed trends and then um, all you need to do is just to use your everyday trading strategy your everyday trend following strategy to enter the market and then um, just to look for timing to open position and then um, you should be able to make quite a lot of profit um, during these few days after the election so uh, yep, just jump into the market and take a look at the uh, take a look at the price movement, and I'm pretty sure you can spot some timing with your um, trend following strategy. Okay, so well, still got quite a few few minutes here, so I'm uh, just gonna fast forward a bit and jump straight to the end again. So okay, so yep, the trade is about to finish and it's a clear win this time. So okay. Okay, so yeah, the trade is finished, and let's take a look at the history. Okay, so well, um, I couldn't make a lot of trade just now because, um, as I mentioned, um, after the election, um, the market most of them is in a trend market. So, um, for me to wait for a purchase timing to open position will take a little bit more time than usual. But then, uh, once the because well, the trend is stable, so once I can open the trade. The, the winning ratio for me to get profit with the trade is going to be high as well. So um, two trades today and um, $140 profit. So well, that's not bad. And uh, well, uh, that's it for today. And if you do have any question on what strategies you should use for the um, US presidential election or um, how you can trade with the US presidential election, just let me just let me know by putting a comment down there and I can get back to you as soon as possible. So yep, that's pretty much it for today. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more live trading video. And I will see you soon again tomorrow. Bye!